Oklahoma is one of the poorest states in the nation, and that is one reason the state has such a high obesity rate. Fresh vegetables either aren't available in poor communities or the price is out of reach for those living in poverty. An innovative approach is now being taken by the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma, which, if duplicated, could be the answer to helping the poor eat healthy. When area supermarkets make way for new produce, much of what is cleared off the shelves ends up going to Oklahoma food banks. That fresh food is divvied out to free farmers markets, local food pantries, and other charities. But it goes bad quickly, and there is never enough of it. The Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma is filling the produce gap with what are called growtainers. They are high-density vertical farms built inside an insulated, recycled shipping container. At any given time, 1,800 heads of lettuce can be growing under the LED lights that create a pink glow. Director of Community Initiatives for the Food Bank, John McCarthy, explains the controlled environment produces high yields. The thing that is nice about the salad mix, it, it grows fairly rapidly, so 28 days for the time that it's germinated till it's up and ready to be harvested. And we can, once we harvest the, the uh, mix, we'll cut that off and then it will, within about 12 days, it will regrow and we can get a second harvesting out of it. He says the lighting is designed to specifically provide the right wavelength for the growth of the lettuce. The operation doesn't require much time or many hands because the lighting and the watering systems are on timers. We've got hoses and a pump that we can pump into these um, little tubs underneath each rack. So those get filled up with that nutrient solution and there's a pump in there and it is hooked to a timer and that timer comes on every four hours. And canisters provide the proper amount of CO2 in the air. We get the carbon dioxide level up higher so that the plants utilize that in their photosynthesis. So anyway, it's really kind of ideal uh, growing conditions. So they, they do really well. To pay for the growtainers, which cost $80,000 each, the food bank applied for and received a grant from a foundation which saw that it was a sustainable investment. Eileen Bradshaw is the executive director of the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma. We calculated the return in, on investment and it was less than two years. So, um, you know, when you talk about a capital outlay of that size, a, a return that quick is actually excellent. Bradshaw says the growtainers allow them to grow all year long. We know that we're always trying to get our hands on more fresh produce and that it's always a challenge. And we have some wonderful people doing gardening for us. and. We're grateful, and this doesn't in any way replace their efforts. But, you know, Oklahoma gardening is tough. It's not for the faint of heart. I mean, the weather can be a real challenge. And so um, this, you know, contained environment is really game changing for us. The lettuce is distributed the day it's harvested, giving it a longer life once into a household. The grotainers are a first in the state, but imagine more of them they could pave the way for a healthier population. I think one of the biggest issues is eating healthy is expensive. Um, you know, when you're buying uh, good quality produce, it, it costs money. So that's one of the things that I think people that are um, struggling with, with hunger tend to buy, you know, cheaper, less healthy foods. The growtainers have only been up and running for six months. In time, different varieties of produce will be planted here.